Hello and welcome to Inverse Methods in Heat Transfer, a course being offered uh, in NPTEL SWAYAM. I am Balaji Srinivasan. I am a professor of mechanical engineering at IIT Madras. So what are inverse methods? Inverse methods are a broad set of techniques within science and engineering that try to figure out what the causes are once you are given the effects at a certain set of locations. For example, let's imagine that there is a ship uh, which is moving at a particular velocity emitting a certain acoustic signal. And if you want to define a forward problem where the cause is the ship and the effect is the signal, then you could just take a particular detector and figure out what the detector would measure given that the ship is moving at a certain velocity or given a certain shape of the ship. On the other hand, if you want to figure out what the cause is from the effect, what you would have is a series of uh, detectors which will detect the signal and you want to figure out that it's a ship emitting it or you want to figure out the shape or you want to figure out the velocity, then that would be an inverse problem. So inverse problems literally are the inverse of the usual problems that we do in science and engineering. Another example could be, let's say, uh, trying to figure out what is happening deep within the body based on surface measurements of temperature or as happens in CT scans, you want to figure out from the image of an X-ray, you want to figure out what the inner organs look like or what their composition is. Within heat transfer, you could imagine the case of a slab and let's say a heat flux is given. You want to figure out the thermal conductivity based on a bench, bunch of thermocouples kept and measuring the temperature. So this is the example of a series of problems uh, within heat transfer or other problems in science and engineering that are inverse problems. As I said, it's a broad suite of or broad set of techniques and uh, we will be concentrating particularly on techniques that are applicable in heat transfer even though they are also generally applicable. So if you can see the objectives of the course, it is just to cover the series of techniques within heat transfer but really like I said, you will be applying it generally to general problems in science and engineering. Within this, there are three broad sets of techniques that we'll be looking at within the 12 weeks that we cover in this course. One is classical techniques starting from linear regression, non-linear regression and connected techniques. The second is probability based techniques, Bayesian techniques, Monte Carlo, etc. And the final techniques are a new set of techniques or at least they are gaining in popularity now. These are machine learning based techniques. Specifically, we will also be looking at something called physics informed neural networks. That's a recent development within the last couple of years. So I hope both uh, you enjoy the course as well as find it educational. Welcome once again to this course. Thank you.